everybody, you might be asking yourself, hey Jake, what are you doing talking about a movie, you silly? This channel is called Because Video Games. Well, sometimes I like talking about everything because uh, I was on Pretty Much It, I still am on Pretty Much It, and I talk about movies there. So, let me talk about movies, guys. And today I'm going to talk about Captain America The Winter Soldier, a movie I had a lot of stake in. Captain America being my in my top three favorite superheroes, and the fact that Captain America The Winter Soldier is like my Bible. Like, it's like what I like pray to. Fuck, it was a really good movie. It wasn't perfect, but it's gotta be one of the best Marvel movies I've seen. It, 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 it was great. This is hard to even call this a review. This is just me talking about it because I'm too much of a fanboy to actually critically evaluate the movie that much. But, oh my God, it was so good. By the first action scene, the, the first punch, I'm thinking about it right now, I'm getting misty. I was crying. I was actually crying. You can find my girlfriend on Twitter and ask her. I was crying. I was visibly wiping tears away from my face because... It was Captain America. It was finally the Captain America that I knew and loved, and I saw him on screen, and I felt that. And that, to me, goes a long way when I see a superhero movie. When I see a good superhero movie, and he comes on screen, and I get emotional when I feel those chills, that's how I know it was a good movie. That's how I know, and I hate to bring up my childhood, but that's how I know, like, the thing I grew up seeing finally realized on a screen in front of me. That's a big, that's, a, that's important to me when I see these types of movies. But not only that, Captain America The Winter Soldier actually managed to be a solid movie. Very entertaining, very different from the other Marvel movies, still a lot of fun, funny, you know, all that stuff that you kind of look for in these movies. It was pretty good. And now pretty much it, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I talked so much shit about the Russo brothers directing this, I didn't think they could do it, and they pulled it off. So good. The movie looks fantastic. The action is out of this world. The choreography, everything, it's actually Chris Evans actually punching people, and it looks great. There's a little bit of shaky cam, but it's not that crazy, thank God. Overall, the action is what made the movie for me. It's why, I, as I was watching the movie, I was going, all right, when am I gonna see this again? It was so much fun. Chris Evans, I think, in this movie, more than the Avengers or the first Captain America, is finally really Steve Rogers. This time, I was really sold, I really felt it, and he had a Captain America speech at the end. That was awesome. Captain America is known for his, his awesome speeches, and he got one and I, I smiled. We also have Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, who had a lot of awesome scenes in this movie, and of course, he is very much Nick Fury, and he, he's up to his old Nick Fury tricks, and that's good. We also had Robert Redford, who is really old now. Oh my God. But he's still really an effective actor, and he pulled off the role very well. Scarlett Johansson is awesome as Black Widow, of course, and she was a really good supporting role in this, in that she kicked ass, and she provided a really great, like, buddy cop, will they, won't they type of thing to the uh, dynamic between her and Cap. I really enjoyed that. And then we also have the Winter Soldier, who was in it just enough to be effective. He wasn't overdone. He was perfectly represented from the comics, which isn't always important to me, but... He was perfect. And I say the word perfect, but the movie isn't perfect. It did slow down for me in the middle. It wasn't a screeching halt, but it did slow down. And some of the weightier, heavier tones that it introduced in the beginning, like post-traumatic stress disorder with soldiers and the whole like NSA spy, uh, spying on, on the public undertones, that wasn't really explored as much as I thought it would. It kind of just ended in like a big action scene, but that was cool. But overall, it's fine. The fact that it brought these things up was fine. Oh, I forgot to mention the Falcon. The Falcon, really cool. I was a big fan of the Falcon in the Brubaker comics and uh, Anthony Mackie really sold it. You could tell he was just happy to be there. He wanted to be the Falcon. It was sweet. But more than anything, what excites me about Captain America the Winter Soldier is what it sets up for Captain America 3. Oh my God. If you've read the Winter Soldier comics, or even not, even if you could just see where things are going, Captain America 3, I mean, Avengers Age of Ultron is going to be great, but Captain America 3 is going to be incredible. The amount of things that they introduced in this, the, the, the fact that they introduced Agent 13, the chick from Revenge, um, as Agent 13, that'll be really cool. We also get a lot of other Captain America characters and villains that are showing their faces, that showed their face in this one as a nice surprise, that will probably be fleshed out in another movie, and I cannot wait to see that. I was actually really surprised how much fan service this movie provided to Captain America fans. While it's accessible for everyone, there was so much stuff to get me hee 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 giggling in my seat because wow. Overall, I just really had so much fun with this movie and like I said, I can't give this like a full review. I can't give it like a real formal review because I'm just freaking out so much about it. I'm really excited. I had such a blast and I can't wait to see it again. So I apologize if I was a little annoying fanboying out about this movie, but to make up for that, I'm going to be giving away two of these bad boys. Yes, the Captain America Winter Soldier IMAX Special Edition poster. I'm giving away two of them and uh, it's pretty easy to win it. Number one, be subscribed. Obviously, idiot. 
Uh, number two, like this video. Thank you very much. And three, leave a comment on this video, uh, favorite Marvel movie and why. That's pretty easy, right? I'm going to be giving two of these away and I'll probably announce when I give them away in my next video. So keep your eyes peeled for that and keep your uh, inbox ready. But I'm done freaking out about Captain America, the Winter Soldier for now. Uh, maybe I'll do something talking about the spoilers more in depth. I don't know. But I just wanted to get my initial annoying, crazy thoughts out about it. My, the hype is real. I'm so excited. But guys, I'm going to turn this back around to you. Like always, let me know if you like Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Am I going crazy? Am I the only person who liked it this much? Put me in my place. And also, comment and try and win the poster. That'll be cool. But let's wrap this up. As always, I'm Jake Baldino. You can like me on Facebook, you can yell at me on Twitter, and you can subscribe because of video games.